Since we can describe a graph using a matrix, we can use all the tools of linear algebra to analyze graphs. Unfortunately, there's a lot of tools to choose from. So having a good guide to linear algebra is very helpful. One of the most important tools, and the one we'll start with, are the eigenvalues. So we'll start with a few common types of graphs. Suppose G is a complete graph with adjacency matrix A. What are the eigenvalues of A? Remember, definitions are the whole of mathematics. All else is commentary. We want to find lambda, where A V equals lambda V. Now, since G is a complete graph, the nth row of A consists of all ones, except in the nth column, and a zero in the nth column. This means the sum of all entries in a row is n minus 1. And we can obtain the sum of the row entries by multiplying by 1, the column vector consisting of all ones. So if we multiply our adjacency matrix by that column vector consisting of all ones, we get a column consisting of all n minus ones. And that's really just a scalar multiple of the column vector consisting of ones. And so a acting on one gives us n minus one times one. Consequently, lambda equals n minus one is an eigenvalue. So remember the eigenvalue eigenvector problem corresponds to finding non-trivial solutions to we can obtain these non-trivial solutions whenever a minus lambda i has rank less than n. This would occur if two rows were the same. Since a minus lambda i is, we can have all rows the same if negative lambda is equal to 1. And so lambda equals negative 1 is a second eigenvalue. Now, if remember, an n by n matrix could have up to n eigenvalues. So far, we found two, lambda equals n minus 1 and lambda equals negative 1. To decide if there are any more, we can try to find the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalues. Remember, the geometric multiplicity of an eigenvalue corresponds to the number of linearly independent eigenvectors it produces. The eigenvectors for lambda equals negative 1 correspond to the solutions to a minus negative 1 ix equal to 0. So let's think about this. a minus negative 1 i is going to be a matrix where every row consists of n ones. So we can row reduce this matrix. Now the components of the eigenvector would have to satisfy the equation. Making our free variables x2 through xn. And this gives us n minus 1 linearly independent eigenvectors. Namely, so eigenvalue lambda equals negative 1 has multiplicity n minus 1. Now, remember the sum of the geometric multiplicities of the eigenvalues of an n by n matrix is at most n. And since the sum of the geometric multiplicities is no more than n, then our other eigenvalue must have geometric multiplicity 1, and we've already found that eigenvector. And so putting our results together, let A be the adjacency matrix for a complete graph. Then the eigenvalues of A are n minus 1 with multiplicity 1 and negative 1 with multiplicity n minus 1. 